How important, then, is this visual information in maintaining balance? In most adults, even when doing a difficult task, the sway is small and balance is easily maintained. But if visual information is important, then it should be possible to upset a subject's balance in an experimental room by moving the room gently forwards or backwards. Infants learning to stand are less stable than the adult and far more easily put off balance. The infant in this experiment has only been walking for a month. When we move the room backwards, the child falls. And again. In 92 trials of this type with seven infants, balance was clearly disturbed in the predicted direction in 82% of the trials. It seems then that for the infant learning to maintain balance, visual information is far more potent than mechanical information. But the adult, however, is less sensitive to conflict between visual and mechanical information, and movements of the room do not, as with the infant, knock him over. But let us give him an unfamiliar balancing task, such as standing on a narrow beam. With his eyes closed, he depends solely on mechanical stimuli, quickly becomes unstable, and falls off. Or, with his eyes open, if the room is moved, even slightly, he will lose his balance, just as the infant did.